Welcome back, dear viewers. You're still watching The Breakfast Show live on Nile TV International. And now it's time for our press review segment for today. We're going to be looking at the major headlines in the Egyptian dailies and commenting on and analyzing them with our guests here in the studio. And for today, we're most delighted to be joined by Dr. Vivienne Moros. She's a political analyst and news commentator. First of all, good morning, doctor. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. My pleasure. And, and uh, dear viewers, uh, we begin uh, today's segment of the press review from Elio Misebe, where we read President Abdel Fattah Sisi received on Wednesday Vice President of the Republic of Kenya. During the meeting, the Vice President of Kenya conveyed Kenyan President greetings to President Sisi and handed him a message from Kenyan President on strengthening bilateral relations and increasing coordination and consultation between the two countries. Uh, dear viewers, we have uh, this uh, report. We have this report looking in depth of this uh, visit, and we're going to be right back. Let's take a look. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received on Wednesday Vice President of the Republic of Kenya, William Ruto. During the meeting, the Vice President of Kenya conveyed Kenyan President greetings to President Sisi and handed him a message from the Kenyan President on strengthening bilateral relations and increasing coordination and consultation between the two countries. The Kenyan Vice President expressed his country's appreciation for the technical support offered by Egypt in the field of training and qualification of human resources in a number of sectors, stressing that it reflects the depth of ties between the two countries. Ruto also pointed out to the importance of the continuation to work to strengthen cooperation between the African countries in various fields. He also praised Egypt for hosting last year's summit of the three African economic blocs and its keenness to develop African joint trade and economic cooperation. For his part, President Sisi welcomed the Vice President of Kenya, stressing the close ties between the two countries at all levels. President Sisi sent his greetings to the Kenyan President, stressing Egypt's keenness on enhancing cooperation in all fields with all African countries in general and the Nile Basin countries in particular. The President also confirmed the existence of significant prospects for enhancing cooperation between the two countries in a number of sectors, particularly agriculture and tourism. El Sisi also stressed Egypt's continuation to provide support and technical experience to Kenya in various fields. The meeting also tackled ways to strengthen coordination and consultation between Egypt and Kenya about a number of African files and issues, particularly the continuation of the development in the continent to help African countries to implement the African Development Agenda for the year 2063. Welcome back, uh, Doctor. Uh, we just take a look, took a look at this uh, report, and if you can tell us about uh, the uh, depth of the decisions uh, and the efforts made by the President in this field. Actually, since President Sisi took office, he, he regained the, the ties and relations with the African continent mm -hmm. that were neglected for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's true that there were always uh, representations of the Egyptian uh, government in these countries, mm -hmm. but not uh, tackle, tackling everything as it should be. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, since President Sisi took <coughs> office, all these relations are being reinforced at all the African levels, mm -hmm. and especially the Nile Basin countries, which mm -hmm. are so important for uh, the Nile in Egypt and all the issues about the Nile and the Nahda Sad and all that. Mm -hmm. So it's so important to concentrate on the Nile Basin countries, mm -hmm. and especially Kenya, uh, one of the sources of the Nile, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why, as well, there, is a, there are a lot of cooperation, mm -hmm. a bilateral cooperation between the two countries mm -hmm. and reinforcing things. And if we remember in last May, mm -hmm. uh, there was uh, Mr. Mohammed Higazi went to reinforce the military side of mm -hmm. uh, the cooperation with Kenya, mm -hmm. in maybe in some uh, joint venture in, in uh, building some arms and military uh, cooperation. cooperation at mm -hmm. the military level. Mm -hmm. And of course, tourism between Egypt and Kenya. Kenya mm -hmm. is very famous with the safaris and Egypt with the Nile cruise and it's mm -hmm. a, a very interesting exchange mm -hmm. eventually. And of course uh, agriculture and mm -hmm. we have the best tea, the Kenyan tea and we are very 
big drinker of tea mm -hmm. in Egypt. Yes. So that's important as well. Mm -hmm. And at so many levels as well, there is a cooperation between at the medical level. There are a lot of uh, mm -hmm. caravans who go to Kenya. There are a lot of exchange at, uh, at that level too. Mm -hmm. So at so many sector of uh, cooperation, which is very important. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, still with Ilium and Seba, uh, dear viewers, uh, but from a different uh, headline, we read uh, uh, Prime Minister Sharif Ismail headed on Monday the Cabinet's weekly meeting in which the ministers discuss a number of economic and security files as well as a number of draft laws and decisions regarding the programs of social safety for low-income people. The Cabinet thanked the Egyptian people for understanding the steps of the economic reform program and their contribution to the success of the measures which were taken recently, especially as they are in favor of the Egyptian economy and the citizen. The meeting tackled the prices file and the availability of supply goods to citizens. Um, this uh, meeting uh, comes uh, uh, in line with uh, what many people are talking about, the prices of commodities, and uh, if you can tell us more about the efforts of the Egyptian government to make the uh, commodities available to uh, Egyptians at reasonable prices. Yes, let's not forget that we had a very big crisis of foreign currency. Mm -hmm. And with all the, uh, the lack of tourism and a lot of other things in parallel, Investment. we had to find a way to, mm -hmm. ha to have some uh, foreign control, currency uh, control. And, and control that mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So this devaluation has, has served us really enormously mm -hmm. and not to the uh, level of everybody's understanding, mm. but you can imagine that with all the measures that were taken in the past week, mm -hmm. the amount of foreign currency that were collected by the banks is exceeding expectations, mm -hmm. and which made the, the wheel run in, a, in the right direction because there were some... And also uh, it controlled the price of and the... And controlled the, the price. Uh, the discrepancy between the banks and the black market. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And now we, we, all the importer of uh, important uh, needs for the mm -hmm. country are having some currency to be able to import that. Mm -hmm. And eventually we'll be learning to use wisely our money as well mm -hmm. because when you have little you are more careful mm -hmm. and you regret the days that you had a lot and not may be careful mm -hmm. so it will change the attitude of people too which is good in a way and uh, uh, the control of prices they are helping a lot in the everywhere they're making boxes that are very reasonably priced and selling them to to people and giving as well the what you call the tamwin, uh, the mm -hmm. yeah the rationing mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. to have the right translation yes. for everyone at mm -hmm. a reasonable price mm -hmm. and the bread is still the same, so there are compensations made with mm -hmm. the increase and the, the this devaluation that we have suffered mm -hmm. in order to gain this for. They are compensating it by increasing the interest in the banks, mm. by uh, keeping some prices stable and not changing them, mm. by helping people to have uh, what they need in, with cheap prices. Too. Yes. So. Uh, moving on to the Lahram uh, newspaper, uh, we read uh, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri met on Wednesday with the newly elected Lebanese uh, President Michel Aoun in Beirut. Uh, Foreign Ministry spokesman Councilor Ahmad Abu Zaid said that during the meeting, Shukri extended an invitation for President Abdel Fattah to visit Egypt. Uh, Sisi had congratulated his Lebanese counterpart in a phone call following the election. Abu Zaid added that Shukri stressed during the meeting Egypt's happiness with what has been achieved in the political life in Lebanon. Shukri also expressed Egypt's aspiration to the success of Prime Minister-designate Saad al-Hadidi to form a government at the earliest opportunity, stressed, stressing Egypt's full support for all efforts aimed at supporting the stability and security of Lebanon. A very important meeting, I believe. A very about. important meeting in, yes. a in a very important country in a very critical time. Mm -hmm. Because they have been living without a president for almost two years. Yes. And despite their neighborhood with mm -hmm. two countries that are really in a very, very delicate a position, situation. despite the presence of Hezbollah mm -hmm. uh, in, in, the, in the Lebanese land, mm -hmm. despite everything, they have not suffered any uh, breakage of their country. Mm -hmm. 
and it stayed intact until the decision, they had to choose it, they had to go with the, the proposal mm. uh, of having Mr. Aoun as president mm. and Mr. Uh, Hariri as a vice and president. president yes. It's an excellent choice and Lebanon has defeated mm. uh, failure all the time despite mm. all the war that they had a long time ago mm. and they rebuilt themselves in a beautiful way mm. and they are challengers, mm. I think, we're going to see a great future for Lebanon. Yes. We hope so. We hope. Uh, from Lyom El Seba newspaper, uh, we read uh, the military spokesman said on Wednesday that the armed forces have distributed one million cheap food boxes to citizens in different governorates with focus this time on North and South Sinai as well as Upper Egypt. In a statement, the military spokesman said that the distribution of food supplies came under the directives of President Abdel Fattah Sisi and in coordination with the Ministry of Supply. The statement pointed out that the army distributed one million food boxes in different governorates, with the total distributed boxes reaching two million boxes out of eight million boxes, which were prepared to be sold to citizens at a reduced price of 25 pounds, nearly half of its actual cost. Earlier this month, under the directives of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the armed forces announced it would deliver 8 million food boxes at reduced prices nationwide. This is the help that we, you were talking exactly, about. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. But uh, even more because they're concentrating on the areas that were always neglected before, <coughs> on Sinai, because everything... Upper Egypt, yeah, yes. they, mm -hmm. And Upper Egypt, they were mm -hmm. a bit... Uh, not marginalized. Uh, marginalized, mm -hmm. but now they're stressing. President Sisi is sure to take care of them even before everybody, mm -hmm. because they've been suffering all these neglect for a long time as oh, well. Yes. So he's thinking of everyone at all time, which is uh, important mm -hmm. because as well they are not uh, living an easy life with all what's happening in Sinai. Uh, so it's, it's not easy because mm -hmm. so they have to be compensated somehow. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, to uh, Akhbar newspaper, uh, we read the US dollar's average exchange rate continued to fall against the Egyptian pound on Wednesday, registering about 15.2 pounds for buying and 15.65 for selling. The average rate of the dollar registered almost 16 pounds by the end of last week. The Central Bank of Egypt had received an initial 2.75 billion US dollars from the International Monetary Fund on Friday following the IMF board's approval for Egypt's $12 billion loan. This month, the Central Bank of Egypt decided to liberalize the pound exchange rate as it, as it announced a number of reforms aimed to alleviate a dollar shortage and stabilize the country's economy. The measures also included raising key interest rates by 300 basis points. The Central Bank of Egypt Governor Tariq Ahmed said that the bank provided local lenders with $1.2 billion this month to import basic commodities for six months. Uh, as we're seeing, uh, Professor, the, um, uh, the uh, situation is improving and um, they're starting to control the um, shortage of the U.S. dollar. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, as well, the uh, tourism is starting to be reboosted and a lot of people are coming mm -hmm. again. So the help is coming from everywhere. God knows how much we need it. So uh, it's such a great thing that we are tackling it in that way because we've seen a lot of countries falling down uh, with all the conditions that we are suffering, but we are still holding up t mm -hmm. tight. So mm -hmm. that's important too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, to uh, some uh, economic related news, uh, but from Liu Seba, Egypt uh, stock market uh, indices collectively rose at the end of Wednesday's trading session due to foreign purchases. The benchmark e index, EGX30, added 3.35% to reach 10,997.38 points in the small and medium cap index. EGX70 rose 2.22% to 428.87. Uh, points and um, uh, also uh, the uh, performance of the stock market it's is is, is of yes because when uh, the uh, shares are uh, for a low price you mm. have a lot of buyers because mm -hmm. in the hopes of getting it a bit uh, higher later so mm -hmm. it's 
it's an important thing too. Yes, so. uh, and also it, uh, it uh, indicates uh, stability or economic stability and somehow. And the interest as well of mm -hmm. foreigners of buying. That's mm -hmm. very important. So mm -hmm. that's an indice uh, of uh, trust. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and as well, we, we have been maintaining our uh, uh, nomination with the uh, Sandra and Poole and Moody's and all that. Mm -hmm. we, ha we are at a, at a very good level with them. Mm -hmm. So it's so important. All these are... Uh, signs of trust yes which is very important at this time yes of course um uh, dear viewers uh, by this uh, we uh, wrap up uh, today's uh, segment of the press review in this edition of the breakfast show uh, doctor we really do thank you uh, for your thank insight you. and your presence uh, dr vivian moros uh, political commentator and a uh, political analyst uh, sorry and uh, news commentator thank you so much for being with us thank you so thank much you. my pleasure and uh, dear viewers uh, now we move on to the cultural agenda then we'll be in, then a short break and then we'll be back to resume the remaining segments of the breakfast show on Mile TV International.